I came to this conclusion that when people ask me, what do I believe in a historical atom? I came to the conclusion that they were operating with seven principles, seven ideas. We're all connected. All right, so the first thing that I think when people say, do you believe in a historical atom, is that it's two actual, real, solitary human beings created out of nothing or out of dirt. That's the first thing they mean. The second thing is that there is a biological or procreational connection between Adam and Eve and all human beings that followed. And the third that followed from that is they implied that there was a DNA genetic connection between Adam and Eve and procreation and all human beings. Now, of course, they didn't always talk about genetics. But this was required in the hypothesis of when they were asking me, did I believe in a historical Adam? The fourth is this. Adam and Eve sinned and died as a result of that. And they transmitted, this is the fifth point, they transmitted their sinfulness on to all human beings that followed. Not only did they pass it on, that all human beings need to be saved because of the transmission of the sinful nature from Adam and Eve that came through genetics and biological procreation of the original creation of two solitary human beings. And therefore, the seventh point is, we can preach the gospel, and the gospel of salvation is at risk if we deny historical Adam. No one in the Bible believed that construct of the historical Adam. No one in the Jewish world that I have seen between Moses and Paul believed that construct of the historical Adam. I think we can say, we can blame this one on Augustine and those who followed after him, that they created this construct that we need salvation because of the sin nature that has been passed on from Adam to everybody else. And it's almost in our genetic code, although it's not going to show up. There is no genome sequence that says underneath it, original sin nature. But there's that belief that that happens. So I have been accused by people at times that if you deny the historical Adam, then there's no reason for the gospel of salvation. And yet, I don't believe the Bible teaches this, and yet I believe the Bible clearly teaches that all people need to be saved because all people are sinful. So therefore, uh, I think we have to construct a different, a different way of talking about the historical Adam.